Hey everyone, so I've just jumped out of the shower and I'm just going to quickly show you how I look after my complexion. Um, this is my morning regime. I use a few different products, uh, but most of them today are from Intraceuticals. So I'll show you those quickly. Um, I do a few different serums, a moisturizer, eye cream, and sunscreen. Sunscreen is definitely the most important part to looking after your skin. So um, I'm just going to quickly show you how I do those. Okay, so first up we have the Intraceuticals Daily Serum. Um, this is from their Rejuvenate range. So um, it's really, it depends on your skin type, but it can be for any age group. Um, I'm mostly looking to maintain my skin and prevent uh, a buildup of any breakouts and blackheads, as well as my dry areas around my cheeks, keep those hydrated. So um, this serum has been working really well. I've been using this for a few months now. I love the packaging. You can twist it up, but um, you can read a review about these products on the site. So I just start off with one drop for my face and then I do another pump for my neck. So put one on the neck, one on the face. Now I apologize because I am going to have to look in the screen to make sure I get it all. But with the neck, you just want to move in upward strokes, not too firm. I'm going to be gentle so you're not stretching the skin. This is a very fragile area, and so it can stretch and wrinkle a lot easier than any other part of the face. And then next, we just move through the cheeks, gently over the chin, top of the lip. I keep it very light on my nose because that's where I get my breakouts, so just a little bit for hydration, but not too much. And then forehead. Remember to go up into your hairline because everyone forgets their hairline and that's really where breakouts from your hair products or from oily scalps can really become a problem. So applying all your skincare up to your hairline is very important. Okay, so that one's done. You should leave each layer of product to dry before moving on to the next one. Um, I am quite used to knowing exactly how much to apply in order for it to dry quite quickly. Um, but if you find you've put too much on, just fan it with you know a piece of paper or something that will let it sink in quicker. But if you can, let it dry in before you move on to the next one. Okay, next we have the hydration gel. So this is step two um, in the Intraceuticals recommended regime for the Rejuvenate range. Um, I'm not using the entire regime as you'll see, um, but for this part I am. So I'm using three products from them and then I'll move, move on to a different eye cream and uh, face cream for sunscreen protection. So um, this is a hydration gel. Again, I do one pump for the face and one pump for the neck. I just keep them separated. I put one pump straight onto my neck and this pump I just do the four points. Again neck you want to move up gently. Don't forget up near your ears and the sides of your neck. Chin and lightly on the nose again. Top of the lip. You know, I'm not pushing too hard when I do this. I'm actually very gentle when I move my hand. Again, you should if you've got um, already signs of wrinkles or a lack of elasticity, you should just do gent up, gentle upward strokes. But I don't have those signs yet, so I am okay to just lightly maneuver it outwards. And then just forehead. Next we have the Moisture Binding Cream. Uh, this one is, I guess, what you would call your moisturizer in the regime. Um, it is more of a treatment one, so it is designed to be uh, the last kind of barrier that goes over, keeps the hydration of the serums in and working, and then protects you from the elements of the outside. But I do apply extra sunscreen. This one does not have sunscreen, um, so that's also really important for protecting your skin from the elements. So again, one dollop for the face, one for the neck, put that there, just divide that around, starting with the neck, don't forget to go all the way up to your jawline, that's really where sagging starts to show, 
Okay, and then chin and cheeks. Depending on the cream you use as to how long you'll need to keep maneuvering it, but I keep moving until I feel like I it's not like easily slipping anymore. Once I start to feel kind of some tension or some resistance in moving the cream, that means it's enough. Okay, and then forehead. Again, I'm always light over my nose because that's where I break out most um, and I produce enough oil. If I was actually using an oil control product rather than a hydration product, I would be okay to apply a normal amount on my nose. But that's not what I'm doing this time. So, beautiful. Okay, next up I have uh, the Trilogy Eye Contour Cream. I've actually just started using this, so um, there won't be a review of this one on the site yet. Stay tuned, it will come. Um, so this one's got a cute little spout. Now, I just put on one kind of pea-sized amount, and then I split that up to go under my eyes, and I just do a couple of taps and over the eyebrow area. If one forgets to go to the top of the eyebrows and we'll also be doing under the eyebrows because they do actually start to sag as well. So you just want to tap gently on the contour of the eye. Everyone makes this mistake and goes right up to the lash line. You shouldn't do that because eye cream does actually carry itself up uh, throughout the day and that can be why um, you actually get eye cream in your eye and if it starts to sting or just feel uncomfortable it's possibly because you've put your eye cream way too close to your eye. So just keep it to the contour and just tap it in, tap, tap, tap. Gentle taps might look like I'm doing it rough, but it's actually gentle. And then as well for the above the eyebrow, just on that contour bone in the brow and underneath. If you have hooded eyes like I do, I mean, you would, um, uh, sorry, a deep set eye like I do, you would need to do this. If you're, um, if you don't really have much of a brow bone or much of a mobile lid, you probably won't get much sagging, but I do. Okay, that's it for eyes. Lucky last is the Supergoop City Sunscreen Serum. Um, I do have a review up on the site of this. It's one of my favorite. I've been actually using this since I bought it in May. Um, and it's just, it's like a serum. It's really cool. Um, so it's kind of got all the skincare benefits of a serum for the hydration and everything. This is definitely for dry skin. I wouldn't recommend this one for oily skin. Uh, but yeah, it's got the benefits of the serum as well as being SPF 30. And Supergoop make brilliant sunscreens. I absolutely love them. So again, I'm just going to put it on the four points of my face and another one for my neck. And just spread it around. Up. Sunscreen does generally dry a lot quicker, so I don't need to do as many movements for this. And chin and sunscreen. I do use more sunscreen than I do with the skincare products because I want to make sure I get every single bit of my skin. So, and dab underneath the eyes as well. People do forget to do underneath the eyes. That needs protection just as much as the rest of your face. And then I do one more pump for the decolletage and the ears. Don't forget the ears. It's actually one of the most common places skin cancer can form. So tops of your ears, in your ears, anywhere the sun can reach, you can get skin cancer. And you can actually even get it where the sun doesn't reach. Done. So that's my skincare regime. You can see product reviews for most of these products on the site um, and links to buy the products are below. Thanks for watching.